All right, I had a crazy day, uh, mentally exhausting day here. It started, uh, so first my watch list here was Snap, Neo, DKNG, and American Airlines, although I didn't really like American Airlines that much, so I, you know, I didn't really even watch it, but I put it on there because it was getting good volume and I thought it could be a good backup. Um, okay, but I only took s trades on Snap and DKNG, and Snap, it's been, if I pull over the daily here, you see it's been on a tear. And so it was kind of due for a pullback. And so I was kind of expecting a, a pullback. And right at open, you see it did pull back. And uh, it got down to this, um, this uh, what, what level is this? Like 4260 level. And ricocheted off of it. And I was excited. I was waiting here um, for a good pullback to get near the 50 MA on the 1 or VWAP. There's a lot of potential resistance at, up uh, above it. So I took it short here and I got one partial right here and then the squeeze of a lifetime. This whole thing happened like real quick. So basically I got one partial and then got squeezed and this was just an absolute massive loss. This is actually two times my daily max loss on this squeeze right here. So completely annihilated <laughs> on this first trade. And um, I was trying to figure out if I was going to keep trading or if I needed to call it a day. But because this was just such a, a big squeeze and it felt like a little, like a fluky situation, I went ahead and kept trading. And I'm so glad I did. Um, I, then I turned away from Snap because I wanted nothing to do with it at that point and started watching DKNG. And... You can see what happened here. You're getting volume in. It's kind of pushing up right here, but it, it, the 200 MA seems to be putting up a good fight. It drops below that, um, comes below all the the 100 around VWAP. Basically, I have it gets below all that um, potential support, and I take it short right at the right after it gets below there, and I get a couple partials here, partial out, partial out. I'm choosing my partials based on the level two in this trade. So basically where there were huge bids, I like to get out at those points as well. And then this is an ad. So I doubled my remaining position here and it went really well. Uh, got three more partials down here. So that was a really great ad for me. And then um, I kind of threw up a pretty good wall here and started coming back up. I wanted to get an ad around the 4150 mark. So that's what this is, is me just trying to get kind of close to 4150 in the event that we actually had the energy to keep going. And um, we didn't, um, and out, out at break even here. So one really, really successful ad, and um, the second ad didn't work out for me. But it was gonna come all the way back to my break even no matter what, so this ad is not no problem here, because if you look, it came all the way back up. So, I mean, I was going to get stopped out either way. But um, this got me half of my loss back. So remember, I had two times daily loss on the snap squeeze. I got half of it back here. So now I'm at one, one times daily loss. And so now I was just trying to decide, all right, do I want to just take my lump and call it, you know, a 1x max loss day? But Snap was setting back up in a way that looked like, okay, it's weak. And you can see it goes all the way up. <clears throat> it hits pre-market high or gets near it and then comes crashing down. So again, same kind of setup we got below. Uh, I like when we're below all these different lines here and we get below the 50 MA as soon as it, I wanted it to press back up on it before I took it short, um, which I did here. So it pressed back up on it, so I took it short and uh, took it short here, got a couple of partials, a partial there, uh, or no, this is my all out. So because Snap has already freaked me out and moves quick, um, I go, then I go all out here, I take it short here, get a couple partials, then out of break even. So these are all really choppy trades here, um, but they are making me money. Take it short here, get two quick partials, get a third partial, then out at break even, then I take it short here, this is three partials, I think, and then out at break even. And um, at this point, I actually wanted to take it short again, but I had dug myself out of that massive hole and I was back at break even. I was mentally exhausted. And what I'm learning is when you get a men mentally exhausted in training, trading, whether you took two trades or you took 15 trades, I've, I've learned I, I need to stop because once I get mentally exhausted, I don't make the same decisions. Um, 
and I've got myself in bad situations that way. So um, although it still looked weak at this point, I wasn't even tempted to continue trying to trade it. I feel lucky that I dug myself out of that big hole uh, to start the day and I ended my day basically break even. Um, so I technically actually I lost so gross I lost six bucks so basically break even on the day and I'm just so thankful I was able to dig myself out of that hole and um, yeah but uh, so is it hard to watch this move that I was hoping for no I'm tired